What's up guys, welcome back to a brand new Duel Links video. We're going to be doing an update video talking about Zane into Duel Links. But before we get on to that, please go check out my previous video. It is a meme video where I played Petite Moth in rank PvP and I was able to get a Petite Moth with like 6300 attack and winning a couple duels with Petite Moth. That video was a blast to make, so if you haven't already, be sure to go check out my previous video. But let's go dive in into Zane. So Zane 2 Truesdale, as you guys can see, is in the game. And basically what we can do is that it's just a roaming duel event which is kind of lame to be honest but um on the bright side we can get some cyber dragon stuff so for you guys that missed out on this event previously when it was released around the beginning of the year you guys have another opportunity to um get some of the cards and this gives me an opportunity to get three of each cards because i just all do the boy but i think i gotta go i should probably go farm the boy this time you know what i'm saying but yeah let's go take a look at this um little um, thing right here. We're gonna go to Zane to Trues, uh, train Zane Truesdale in Dual World to all Duel of Zane Truesdale has appeared in Dual World GX. Duel of Zane Truesdale to complete event missions. Complete event missions to obtain cards. So if you play against him, you'll get a free copy of, um, Simmer Tech Over Dragon, which is pretty cool. Pretty cool guy. Um, it takes a Cyber Dragon or one or more machine type monsters. Must be fusion summoned and cannot be special summoned by other ways. If this card is fusion summoned, send all other cards you control to the grave. You have the original attack and defense of this card. Each become equal to the number of fusion material monsters used for its fusion summon times 800 each turn. This um, card can attack your opponent's monsters as a number of times equal to the number of fusion material monsters used for a fusion summon. Not bad, but like at the same time, we don't really got good stuff because, like I said, Zane's been into the game before previously, and honestly, th these are all the cyber dragons that he's adding. He's adding this cyber dragon, cyber dragon Lily or Zueli or whatever, Proto Cyber Dragon, which is going to be your cyber dragon fusion material for the Simmer Tech Over Dragon. Um. Yeah, I mean, we got Cyber Barrier Dragon, oh boy. Eh, it doesn't really matter. Like, honestly, most of these cards are pretty garbo when it comes to Zane. So, honestly, this Roaming Duelist event is pretty lame to say. There's only one new card, but we're just going to talk about all of them. So, yeah. Uh, Zane True Sales appeal on Jewel World GX. Uh, obtain Simmer Tech over Dragon to strengthen your deck for a limited time. Zane will be in the world. The more you battle legendary duelist Vagabonds and all that stuff, he'll spawn into the game more. You also can increase your chance of um, battling Zane if you play in ranked duels. Now we do have a bunch of event missions. I already said for this one, if you play against 15 duels against Zane True Sale, you can get a copy of Simmer Tech over Dragon. I'm not going to lie, the artwork of this card looks really nice, so that's not bad. But we already talked about that, guys. This is a brand new card that is new. Um, and this is Infernal Dragon. It is a dark four-star dragon with the effect. This card attacks. It is destroyed and sent to the graveyard during the end phase. Um, when this card is destroyed and sent to the graveyard from the field, you can special summon this card by tributing a monster. So, I don't... I'm not a good duelist, to be honest. Even though I got some Ws with Petite Moth. I don't mean to brag, but... Yeah, nonetheless, so I don't really see too much com or I can see people making combos from this, but I just don't have any combos in mind for this. It is a dark dragon though, which is going to be pretty interesting. I remember, I believe in the TCG, there's like a light and darkness dragon deck or something like that. Um, I'm not too sure, but I mean, hey, that's kind of a little neat effect that you can do with this is that if you destroyed, you know, sense the graveyard, but you can summon it back by tributing a monster, maybe you can tribute monster that then if you did that, the monster they tributed could use like you're going to use it as for an effect. I don't know. I don't know what to say. It's just here. It's a 2000 beater, but sadly it kills itself basically when you attack with it. So I don't really know how useful it will be, but Maybe I'm missing something. Someone's just going to build a busted, just infernal dragon deck. And they'll be like, oh, snap. I should have done something about this beforehand. But what can you do? But yeah, 2000 attack monster. It's pretty cool. Infernal dragon the artwork looks pretty cool. We're going to go talk about this card. So we have attack refactor unit. Win three duels against the intrusive Dale. This card tributes cyber dragon. Especially some of cyber barrier dragon from your hand or deck. Meh, if you win one duel against St. Trues, your Cyber Barrier Dragon, 8-star Light Machine, cannot be normal, summon a set, must be special, summoned with attack Perfector unit. Once per turn, while this card's attack position, your opponent's next attack is negated. Need effect, but is it practical and consistent to pull out, you know, you know, activate all the time? No, no, it isn't. Um, this card, though, I believe this one is new. Damage Polarizer receives one no damage win in a duel against St. Truesdale. Damage Polarizer activate only when the effect that limits damage is active, inflicts damage is activated, negate the activation and the effect that each player draws a card. Not bad, but like, practical? Not really. 
you're not going to be able to use this every single duel. There's very, there's like only a few decks that use burn spells. The mo and right now the most consistent deck don't do that right now. So I don't know, pretty useless. Cybernetic Zone, continuous, uh, not continuous, quick play spell card. Select so like one phase of machine type fusion monster control. Remove it from play to the end phase of this turn. When that monster is returned to the field, double its attack during your next standby phase. Destroy it. On paper, it sounds good, but if you dive into it, um, this card is pretty garbage because. Okay, you're gonna get, like, for example, I'm gonna get this big boy out, okay? He's a huge, huge boy, right? He's gonna, you know, we fusioned like three monsters. He's gonna have 2400 attack, okay? So, you're gonna play Cybernetic Zone. You're gonna banish this card during your main phase one. Okay, until the end phase of this turn, so then it's your turn's done. Okay, your turn's done. Okay, next up, you're gonna be like, okay, it's your opponent's turn. You got this big boy, he's now 4800. And then now it's your turn during your next standby phase. This right, you're not gonna be able to attack with um, your monster um, with the boost of cybernetic zone, it's just there to be there. I mean, you could play this, um, since it is a quick play though, you could attack it to your opponent. Then play Cybernetic Zone, so then your, you know, Cyber Dragon Boy or whatever fusion uh, machine monster you have will be a huge, huge uh, monster. And then, um, like, after you attack, so then you can kind of, like, defend yourself. I don't know, I'm just rambling on right now. It's like 1 a.m. as I'm making this video. I gotta head to bed, I'm feeling sleepy, but that's what I'm kind of saying. It's like, you attack with your machine monster at first, then you play Cybernetic Zone. Um, banish till the end phase, it'll come back onto the board as a big boy. And then your opponent's like, shit, I can't get over it unless, you know, the Econ take or something. And then Ripperoni, Pepperoni. But then it's your standby phase is destroyed. I don't know. Maybe someone can figure out an effect with this card. But on paper, it just sounds bad to me. So there's that. Um, here's the other card. You could unlock this from Farming Zane and Cyber Repair Plan. If Cyber Dragon's in your graveyard, you can activate one of these effects. If you have three or more Cyber Dragons in your graveyard at activation, you activate both effects and resolve in sequence. You only can activate one Cyber Repair Plan. Per turn, add one light machine monster for your deck to your hand. Target a light machine uh, monster from your graveyard. Shuffle that target into your deck. This card's actually pretty good. Um, I think it is played in Cyber Dragon decks, but right now it isn't that good because we don't have any of the good Cyber Dragons currently. We have the mediocre ones. Uh, we also have Cyber Dragon's Welly. This is a 1500 attack, 1000 defense. Four star light machine. If this card attacks, bonus monster gains 300 attack. Okay, 1800 big boy. Once per turn, you can reveal one spell card in your hand. This card becomes Cyber Dragon's on the end phase. Okay, um, this card name is Cyber Dragon while it's in the graveyard. Hey, that's pretty neat. So, this is another way to be Cyber Dragon for the over attack and all that good stuff. Yeah, pro Cyber Dragon becomes Cyber Dragon while it's on the field. Oh boy. Oh boy, here's a little dialogue on him. He's a dark boy now. He's an edgy boy because he lost a lot. He lost a lot. Edgy boy. Feels bad, man. So, yeah, here's Zane. I mean, hey, I'm not really much of a farm guy, so I'm not going to really farm this boy. You can find some other Duel Links YouTuber out there that does these farms because I am not much of a farm boy for this stuff. But honestly, though, I think that's going to do it for me in today's Duel Links video. Be sure to go say what's up to your boy Zane. Hopefully, either auto-duel him or farm him. I don't really know if you're going to be missing out. These card rewards are pretty mediocre as they are. Um, but hopefully you guys can get the cards that you want. Maybe you can pull some prismatics from farming your boy Zane Truesdale. Well, that's going to do it for me, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. If you enjoyed at any point during this video, be sure to go smash that like button down below. And subscribe to the channel for new content. And like I said, be sure to go check out this video. This video is a blast to make, so be sure to go check out this video. So my most previous video before this quick video right here. Um, but yeah, I think that's going to do it for me, guys. Thank you guys for watching today's Duel Links video. And I'll go see you in the next one. See you later, guys.